Greetings everybody, Chad DeMo, Mill Creek Minnow here. Today I'm going to show you how I tie a tan X caddis. This is a relatively simple pattern to tie but extremely effective. You only need four things to tie it. You need your poly yarn for a trailing shuck, dubbing for your body, deer or elk hair for your wing, tasty adult beverage, and then you'll be good to go. I'm going to find a phone booth, jump into my backdrop, and then we'll get this on. Alright, backdrop is on, everything looks good. I got a size 16 dry fly hook already in the vise. I'm going to come in and I'm going to wrap in some 6 aught tan thread. I choose 6 aught because we're going to be working with some deer hair, so I want to be able to lean on it if I have to, so I don't snap off my thread in front of everybody. First thing I'm going to do is tie in the poly yarn for my trailing shuck. And we do this so that we can imitate that caddis adult hatching out of the pupa. So this trailing shuck is what it used to be. At least that's the idea. So tie that in pretty sparse. And I'm going to grab my dubbing. And this is a super, super fine dry fly tan dubbing, which I'm going to twist on pretty consistent in the way I twist this. I'd rather bulk up the body because we want to create a tapered body and I'd rather bulk it up with some extra thread wraps than try to twist on more dubbing as I get closer to the eye of the hook. So this looks pretty good. So I'm going to come in and trim off this excess here. I'm just going to start wrapping this forward to create my body. And I'm going to start kind of overlapping these wraps a little bit as I think about the tapered body. Tighten up my dubbing. I'll just come back through here. Give it the tapered look that I want. Work my way back up to the front. That looks pretty good. I'm going to trim off my tail or my trailing shuck to about the length of the body. That looks good. I'm going to take a clump of my deer hair, trim it off. I'll hold on to just the tips and I'm going to tease out all the under fur all the short hairs. Glad you can't see my face right now. It's hard to say that with a straight face. And then I'm going to drop the good hair that I've got left over for the wing into my hair stacker, tips down. Take my hair stacker, give it just enough taps to make everything even. Since I got a two year old asleep 10 feet away from me. I take this out, and all of those, well, okay, most of them are even. I guess there's an asshole in every crowd. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to give my bobbin a twist to tighten up my thread. And I'm going to lay my wing in, and I want it to be slightly longer than the length of the body. So I'm going to take, hold it by the tips, tighten up my bobbin a little bit. I'm going to come up and I'm going to make one wrap just around the deer hair to catch it in a bunch. I haven't wrapped around the shank yet. And I'm going to come down around the shank with a loose wrap and I'm going to tighten up and everything should flare out at that point. And I do that so that I can keep all of those hairs on the top of the hook so they don't roll over really bothers me when my wings roll over onto the side of the fly. 
Now I'm going to take about a third of this material. I'm going to pull it back and lay down a tight wrap. Then I'll grab another third, make another wrap. And if my math is correct, there's about a third left. So I'll pull it all back. Come in right behind the eye of the hook with three or four wraps. And then I'm just going to whip finish. Pull everything out of my way. Hit it with three or four good turns. Trim out my thread. Just kind of adjust everything, make sure it's sitting on top of the hook looking good. Take these stub ends, trim them down, leave just a little bit for a head. Watch your elbow. And that is a tan X caddis. I tie this in cream, tan, I got a chocolate, black, light olive, and dark olive. And if you have the means, tie in the trailing shuck a shade darker than the color of the dubbing you use for your body. And if you don't have the means, just make do, and that's what I usually do. So this is a great pattern. If you come back and check out my next video, I'll show you how I tie my extreme caddis.